Well, Sally, welcome to the program, and lovely to catch up with you again in the beautiful Tararua district area. Uh, now, you're flat out at the moment. Of course, the deadline is, uh, well, tomorrow for getting your uh, proposals in, uh, submissions in, re the emissions trading, and uh, how are you feeling about that? Yeah, well, my thing is, is what I'm encouraging members to do is just make a, a one-page um, submission themselves and, and just sort of give, you know, a paragraph of, of who you are and, and what your farming situation is, you know, um, like we farm 240 hectares and, and we've been on our property 15 years and, and, and each year we've, we've worked to, you know, develop the biodiversity or, you know, and put some of those things in. And then, and then to move on, you know, whether they agree with the um, proposals or not um, and why. And, and it doesn't have to be do the whole thing, you know, like just a few things. Like like personally, I don't like the idea that we drop our production and, and a country overseas picks it up and it makes it worse for the world. So, um, again, just putting it in your own voice and, and, and locally um, I've said that I'm happy to, to type up someone's, uh, uh, you know, submission and send it back to them. It takes about 20 minutes just to go through and highlight what, what's really important for them. Um, yeah. And have you had some sort of take up on that? People are uh, using your um, expertise? Yeah, well, no, so, so far I've had three or four, but um, it's, uh, I think, I think it's also just getting the word out. Like it was really cool to hear that uh, Tarara District Council had um, uh, taken some time and they've put a submission in and, you know, I've seen the draft, but they're still working on it. And, and you know, I think it's important that um, businesses outside of farmers um, also recognise the impact, you know, like um, on some rough figures I did, I think it came out at um, potentially it could be a, a 12 and a half million dollar um hit um just for for one township you know so um if we if we lost 20 percent of those sheep farms you know tararua is predominantly based on sheep so um yeah it is amazing and i guess you know the other point is the more people submit uh the more impressive it is you know even if it is just an a4 page um at least it's you voicing your opinion and the more people that do that the, the more the government gets the impression that boy they've taken on something big here i mean this is uh, really motivating people yeah and, and it's just it's just that um individual story you know again you, your rural community is based on it you know so what's the effect that if you lose you know another three farms because they become unprofitable when they go into trees. What's the effect on the local school? You know, who's going to drive the school bus? Um, are there going to be enough kids to warrant a bus? Um, <laughs> you know, uh, health-wise, um, you know, the pollen around with the trees, um, the fire risk, you know, who's going to want to live in the district? But but more with the emissions, it's around, um, you know, long-term, are we making it better for the world? You know, we, we all want that. Um, I don't know a farmer that hasn't tried to make their farm a better place. So, um, yeah, like sequestration. You know, if you've been planting trees on your farm, uh, why aren't they all counting? You know, we, we go to the farm next door and Air New Zealand's allowed to to buy a whole farm and put it in trees and, and, and be told that, that that's making them more green. And it's like, well actually have they dropped their production <laughs> they're flying all over the world spreading their uh, their fuel um the deposits everywhere not doing a great deal for the environment yeah like you know like i don't want to see travel stop you know like i've just been to australia and, and, and had a wonderful time and learned lots about you know how someone else does things and why and 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 also had a, a great time um playing sport but you know like but I'd, I'd like to think that I've I've actually thought about that travel, you know, like it's it's not something I'm going to do every week. Um, it's it's a like rather than a, a, a have to. Um, and you know, like we're talking on Zoom. I could I could fly up to wherever the studio is, but you know, is it needed? No, but it's so true, and I think it's putting a face to people as well, you know, because you look at a district like Tararua and you think, oh, here's all those farms there. That's fantastic. Lose twenty percent, as you say. You know, what does it matter? But when you put faces to those farmers and uh, and stories behind them, it has much more impact. And predominantly our areas, you know, like I think 95% of um, sheep and beef are 
uh, owner operators and 85% of the dairy farms are. So, you know, like we're not a, um, a corporate type area, you know, um, so the, the the stories that are being told are very raw because, you know, we're very involved in the business. We're not um, not disconnected and, um, you know, like we're not scientists. I, I, I find very few in the district that uh, have a good handle on the science behind it. Um, because it, it it's it's quite a complicated beast, but um, yeah, no, it's it's good if we can just tell the story and 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 explain why we disagree or agree and what parts 